New details about this crime scene in Cheektowaga. Police say the fire might have been set on purpose to cover up a murder. 58 year old Thomas Murphy now arrested and charged in the strangulation death of his girlfriend. And it turns out this prime suspect here is no stranger to the law. Police say they've responded to this place for reports of domestic violence more than once. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller. Well, Katie and Ed, investigators say the victim in this case, 63 year old Jean Hartwick, his girlfriend, had an order of protection against Murphy. However, police say this time it wasn't enough to stop him. What happened inside one of the Williamstown apartments Friday is being called gruesome. I don't think it's a common thing to murder your companion and then burn them. Chictawanga Police Assistant Chief Jim Spire says officers went to check on the welfare of 63-year-old Jean Hartwig. Worried friends called police when Hartwig didn't show up for work. But this welfare check quickly turned much more serious. While they were there, the smoke alarm went off and they could observe smoke actually coming out from underneath the door. A fire burning fast inside the apartment. Officers kicked down the door, finding Thomas Murphy inside and Hartwig inside the burning bedroom. But after the investigation, police say it wasn't the fire that killed her. Murphy is accused of strangling his girlfriend to death. You know, the responding officers did whatever they could to, to uh, rescue Miss Hartwig and um, you know it's a traumatic experience they put themselves in jeopardy and after digging deeper into who Thomas Murphy is police discovered he was arrested a few months ago for holding Hartwig against her will but even though she had an order of protection Murphy was still allowed to see her it was not a stay away order they were legally allowed to be together Murphy is being held at the Erie County Holding Center with no bail tonight. Investigators say there may be more charges filed. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Hannah